Hey, what's up everybody? This is T-Squared, and this is a Halo Reach gameplay commentary with Bloom and Sprint before the update of No Bloom and No Sprint, which will hopefully save Halo. So I want to show you guys what it was like so we can kind of laugh at it and appreciate what we have going on here in MLG Columbus, March 23rd through the 25th. So right here, I get a killing frenzy and an overkill at the end of the game, which is why I'm clearing out my Bloom archives, getting ready for the straight rip and montage. It's going to mix a little bit of Halo 3 and a lot of Halo Reach in there, so don't expect a lot of gray maps like this one, Sanctuary, which is in the version 7 game types. Shout out to Killer KC for putting in Battle Cannon and Penance. I'm not too sure about Nexus, King of the Hill, but we'll see. I'm a big fan of the old anniversary maps. And as you can see, I used the wall right there to get the double kill. I could have jumped up any time into the hut and kept my shields if they didn't have the jetpack, which is still there. So with sprint, you can get away with ridiculous things. And people that were in bad spawns just sprinted out of them. People could make bad decisions and get out of them. And with the bloom, it's hard to get multi-kills. A lot of people like to see multi-kills. Here's a great example of a guy sprinting out of his spawn immediately. I get the assist, but I much rather have been, would have been able to get into an individual battle with that guy, fight him from the bond to the flag, or just do something different. He shouldn't be able to get out of his base that easily when we have map control. So this guy right here could have you know, sprinted into their courtyard. You never would have known. So I'm stoked for MLG Columbus. I can't wait to play this game on land. No bloom, no sprint. We have two lands coming up, so Stray is going to be extremely prepared. We're going to Kobe's house, and then we're going to the second TLN land. I'll be going to Strongside's house, and we're driving to the tournament from there. So we'll get some team bonding, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I want to give a shout-out to my teammates. What's up to Ninja, Mickwin, Strongside, and shout-out to Apex for taking us to Europe. Stray and will be in Europe competing in April, and I can't wait because this is the first time a U.S. Halo team has gone overseas to compete, and I've never been overseas. This is my first time, so I'm really grateful and thankful for, that, for this opportunity. It's going to be a really good time, and here it is. We're ending it with the overkill, Killing Frenzy. Don't forget, March 23rd through the 25th, watch Straight Up and Compete at MLG Columbus. We've been gaming hard and could really use your guys' support. All right, I'm out. Peace.